after I did China, uh, and, and the, the way I got to China was through, the, with the help of Audrey Topping, whose husband, Seymour Topping, was the managing editor of the New York Times. Her father was the first Western ambassador to the People's Republic of China, Chester Rani, and he was the Canadian ambassador to China. And because he had been there before, uh, and because he was born in China of people who were missionaries, uh, he was very persona or much persona, persona grata with uh, Joe Online. And when I applied, I mean, and I'll make the long story short, when I applied, he sent word to Joe Online that he felt that I would be the perfect person to trust to do the first program. It was the first time Westerners had been allowed into China with cameras to do a film about the New Republic. And we were enormously successful there. But following that, um, it got very quiet. I was doing other programming of the medical shows, and uh, uh, I did a thing with Barbara Walters. We wanted the, the, the daytime show, the daytime programmer, who was a woman, um, vice president of daytime programming, asked me if I would do, dream up something to do with Barbara Walters, because they needed to in, in, improve the ratings of daytime. They really wanted, she said, you know, the three gals, we're the three women in the network, we three should get together and do something together. So we dreamed up, the three of us sat down and we decided we'd do something called the Royal Lovers. Barbara Waters goes to visit the Royal Lovers. And so we did the heir to the phone in France. We did the Queen Margaret, the young new queen of Denmark. We did the royal couple in um, Sweden, and one other that I can't remember. In any case, it was very exciting, and the, the ratings went to the roof, and Barbara and I had a great time doing this. In the meantime, she had been negotiating with NBC to do that night time, to do news at night, to be an anchor woman at night, and they were turning her down. And she got an offer from ABC and a, an offer that offered her not only the news end of interviews and, and, and anchor, co-anchoring at night with Harry Reasoner, but she would have four specials a year that would be in the entertainment department, not news. And she was the one who said, oh, well, I would like to start out with the new president, Jimmy Carter. And they said, well, we'd like to have something Jimmy Carter and, and maybe some entertainment thing. She said, well, I'll do Barbara Streisand. And she went to Barbara Streisand and promised, not, not saying a word to me, and promised Barbara Streisand, I'm going to get Lucy Jarvis to come to ABC with me and produce this show. And Streisand, who was an old friend, said, if you can get Lucy, then I'll do it. So then Barbara came back to NBC and started to talk me into going with us. She said, listen, you'll make more money in one show than you make in a whole year here, and why do you want to stay here? I mean, it's really, it's not, you know, they're not innovative anymore, and you have a whole, we have, we have a chance of doing some great things together. Come with me to ABC. And I said, well, I will do those four shows for the entertainment division, because I knew that my lawyer, who was very smart, a woman named Flori Alasky, had given me a contract with NBC in which I was exclusive in the news department, but not in the entertainment division. So I could do entertainment shows, movies, or anything like that elsewhere. And in fact, I did do a, a movie with uh, Betty Davis. So this gave me an opportunity to go and do that show with Barbara Walters at ABC, because I wasn't exclusive to that. But when NBC heard that I was doing that, they went up in smoke. They said, you can't sit in an office at NBC and then sit in an office at ABC. I mean, where do you belong? <coughs> they said, you have to do one or the other. And I said, well, contract-wise, I don't have to, but I don't want to leave NBC on bad, you know, with bad feelings. This was my home and my alma mater for so many years, and really my whole career and my life was this network. But I do think it's time to move on. And I wasn't getting along too well with the new head of the news department. And so I said, fine. I, they bought me out. And I moved on with uh, Barbara to ABC, 
and did the Barbra Streisand show and did the Jimmy Carter show and then went to the Shah of Iran, whom I had already done a project with, and talked him into doing uh, Barbara Walters and allowing the, the, because I had arranged for the Today Show to go to Iran many years before when there was their 25th, 100th anniversary. We had a great relationship. So we had, and then I went to talk to Agnelli to have her do uh, Johnny Agnelli. So the four shows were laid out for the year, but I, at the end of the year, I really decided I'm going to go into business for myself. Because ABC would not allow us to own those shows. See, I had believed that those four shows a year that we do would become ours and we could resell them and resell them and syndicate them and so on. But ABC said, no way. We put a lot of money into that. They were paying her $5 million a year, which included those four shows, and they would not allow us to, uh, re to own them. So I decided I'd go into business for myself. Given the two of you working together uh, and, and meshing your styles, uh, how did you envision these specials, and did it work out the way you envisioned them? It did indeed, it did. We really, that, that we knew each other very well, and we knew how to, how to, um, uh, mesh, how to, you know, how to, uh, uh, the synergy between the two of us, how it would work. And she was my star. When I, for example, did a film with her and Streisand, Streisand was very, very difficult. I don't know whether you know about her. But when she sat in the editing room and she was doing a film at the same time with Chris Christopherson, I mean, every shot that, that, uh, that uh, emphasized Christopherson ended up on the cutting room floor because that same shot had a, had a look of her that she preferred. And so it was always that. And it was the same way with the things that we did, the two Barbaras. I mean, I did the shots when I edited this film or over, oversaw the editing. I would, my star was Barbara Walters. I wanted to make sure that she looks the best in the shot. I had a lot of trouble with Streisand, who insisted, well, I remember we shot that in a different way. And that was the problem through that whole thing. But it worked out in the end.